Hey you. Okay, once again, not sure if you're going to end up being able to see any of this, but we'll do it anyways. If you can see it, you can. If you can't, well, I'll toss it. Do a little bit of a loop in here. I just need this ground wire held onto there. I've taped all the ends so they don't fray, because if they fray, the birds tend to come after these electric ropes because they really have an affinity for chowing pieces out of these for some room. Oops, sorry bird. Just missed that. I just got buzzed by a bird. Okay, and I just went the wrong way. I want to go inside because that's where my loose end is going to go. And then I'll take, put this down because I don't need that right now. Turnbuckle set up. I could have probably done some of this ahead of time. Would have saved you the entertainment value of watching me unscrew these things. Which, as you can see, is really not that entertaining. Perilously close to the line. Alright, bird. I'm not going to touch you, man. Alright? I'm not going to touch you or your nest. Back away slowly. Thank you. Alright. I'll put this right in here. Just want to get a, just want to get a fair guesstimate of where I've got to be. I'm just going to put one nut on there just to hold that thing in position. Because what I need to do is I need to cut the excess wire. And I forgot my damn electrical tape. Crap. Hey, horse. <sighs> Luckily for me, the job site is exceptionally close. Electrical tape. Yeah, this wouldn't be much of a uh, fence demo without a without the right tools, right? You don't care. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece here out, find the end of my electrical tape in complete darkness. Should be able to feel it, but I can't. Here we go. Got it. So where I want to make my cut, because this, this stuff here frays like crazy. It's almost like a polyethylene rope. In fact, I think it is a polyethylene rope with the, uh, with the wires bound inside of it. But whatever it's made out of, it just it flares out and the birds love it because then the birds start working on your fence. As soon as they see something sticking off them, a fence because they like clothesline and things like that for the uh, for nesting materials but as soon as they get into that stuff you are you are in trouble so now I will cut the end of this with my little Dremel cordless right in the middle of that mess hopefully you can see this thing actually does a pretty good job this is the only thing that I've ever seen that manages to cut through this stuff I don't know if you've ever tried if you're a horse person, you've ever tried cutting this stuff, uh, it's really something. Bolt cutters don't do it because it's such a fine wire, and then it's got the polyethylene and all the other stuff. i got to get this rope off the floor because I have some very nervous horses here. They're used to getting zapped by this stuff, and if it looks like it's gone rogue on them, that tends to make them nervous. So I'll take this out, and I'll put this over in my pile of stuff. Oh, the wife just came home. Okay, now I'll go back out to this thing. Hey, horse. All right, that rope is fairly slack right now, so I need to take tension up as well as get ready to cut this in. So this one here. See, now I did it right. Take a little grip on there. Spin that. I well, would have liked to have gotten one more spin out of it, but that's fine because I'm cutting another small piece off. So that way I don't damage the uh, pieces of wire when I'm twisting it with the cutters because the cutters are not exactly the best thing in the land for this type of deal. All right, now I got that loose. I'll take this nut back off from here.
stay. All right, so I'm going to twist this around this thing because I want as much wire touching the other wire as possible in there. Got that in a nice hook so it'll stay in there. Get that thing twisted up a little bit so it'll hold on. Pre-tension this line. So right now it's kind of kind of taunt, but not not super. Put the nut on there. And hopefully I have another nut in my pocket here somewhere. Don't want to drop that. Okay, so the dead side of the line, I should be able to pull this. Push that one forward at the same time. That's got about as much tension on it as I can get. And if I get my ratchet set up right, once again, things I probably could have done earlier. up and then making sure that I'm not pinching the wire on the sides or anything because that will eventually make quite the mess on you. All right. That's good. So that's far enough apart so that the birds aren't going to whack their heads on it and get cur zapped and it's close enough so when Cloudy walks into it he'll get zapped like a almost just did and I'm going to put a little bit more tape on this one here because I don't need this one flailing about it's a little bit longer than I intended it to be but it doesn't really matter I may have to I may have to move these around at some point or another so I'm not going to lose a whole lot of sleep over that Plus the black tape will give him something to smell. Cloudy will like that. That's just how he rolls. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you don't care. And that's it. I am out of here. If I can find the button to turn this thing off.